Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to sell your first car as a car salesman. I'll be going over a few simple things that you can do that will help you sell your first car. And not only sell your first car, but make that first customer extremely happy, which will hopefully lead to many referrals and many more sales in the future. Let's get right into it. These are the things you gotta do, okay? They're absolutely crucial. I have some notes down here, that's why I keep glancing down. Number one, ask every question that you might have to the sales force. There are likely other people on that same sales, sales force that have been working for more than 10, 20, even 30 years. They know all of the ins and the outs, okay? So think about every question that you might have. Make a long list and ask every question. And that's because when you do better as a salesperson, the dealership does better overall, which means everybody does better. Everybody makes more money, everybody's happier, everybody's making more customers happy, okay? So ask every question possible to the sales force. Most likely they'll be happy to answer your questions for you, okay? Number two is listen to your managers. Your managers know best. They really do in terms of what is going to sell more cars, what is going to earn more profit, what is going to make customers happier. Your managers know best. So listen to them because they have to strike the perfect balance between making a customer happy, earning profit for the dealership, and making sure that you get paid. And they have that perfect balance. You might want to get paid right you know more but you know not and the didn't and the dealership might might not make as much when you get paid more but your managers know how to balance everything out so listen to them it's not about you it's about the dealership as a whole and that's how you get paid when your dealership does well word of mouth goes around you end up getting more sales it's the way that it works number three watch other trained sales people so what you want to do is just sit in on a sale on a deal just literally ask another salesperson if you can sit in on and watch them do what they do best and you're gonna notice that it's like literally they just it's a process that they follow and then they rinse and repeat and you want to take notes not in front of the customer though like remember what they're doing then when the customer leaves take your notes down from what you remembered watch them do it again it's the same process over and over and over customers are different the process for selling cars is the same always remember that I'm not gonna tell you how I know all this stuff but um, I have a few key insider insights um, with regards to selling cars that are crucial I know some of the top car salespeople in Toronto which is where I live and I sort of surveyed them and I asked them what they did and what they would do if they were new these are the things they told me okay so watch other trained salespeople. Number four, that was number three. Number four, learn how to work the four square. Okay, the four square, you look it up. I'm not gonna, I can do a whole video on it if you want me to. But basically that is uh, the key factor to selling cars. And it's not like some people, uh, some people have a, some misinformation about it. The key factor with the four square is not to try and make more profit from a customer. Some people think that that's the purpose. If you think that's the purpose, get out of car sales right now. You're not going to make it, okay? Not in this day and age. Maybe in the 70s, sure. Not now, okay? Um, the key factor in the four square is just allowing the customer to see all of the aspects and all of the options. And then they can choose whichever one works best for them. That's the key there. Don't try and make more profit off of customers with the four square, okay? You want to show them all of the options. It's literally as simple as that, okay? Uh, number five is learn how to figure out what the customer actually needs. If a customer is coming in, for an SUV, they have three kids, they want a big SUV. Don't try and sell them a sports car convertible. Come on, like, you're not going to last long if you do that. You might make an extra couple grand profit for the dealership and, and you know, a couple hundred bucks for yourself, but don't try and sell them what they don't need. They won't come back to you. They're going to be unhappy. You want people coming back. If you sell a customer car when they're 20, you want them coming back every 10 years for the rest of their life. That's the idea here. That's the idea, okay? Whether they're buying a new car, a used car, an SUV, a sports car, doesn't matter. You want them coming back to you every 10 years for the rest of their life, okay? Or if you have someone that's leasing every four years for the rest of their life, very simple. So learn how to figure out what the customer actually needs. You want to survey and figure out what they actually need, okay? Last but not least is number six, which is bring it all together. Once you've learned all of those things, 
All that you have to do is get a customer that walks in there. Every customer that walks in is going to be at least potentially interested. I'll admit, I've walked into dealerships to just check out their cars because they have nice cars. But I know at the back of my head, if I can't afford that car now, I will be able to afford that car in the future. And I'm going to be going back to that dealership. And guess what? If you help me, even when I wasn't really ready to buy, even if I come back 10 years later, if you still work there, I'm looking for you. I'm going to give you the deal. And I'm not asking for a discount. You're getting all that profit. Okay? A lot of people are like me, believe it or not. They like to sort of pay it back. Okay? Into the world. So with that being said, customers are going to come into the dealership. You want to just use everything that you learned to give the customer customer what they actually need and want okay allow them to see their options with the four square method okay and just allow yourself to work yourself as a salesperson you're not trying to sell them something like and earn a lot of profit for them you're trying to get them to walk out the door with a car at a decent price or you make the dealership a decent amount of profit and you get a pretty decent paycheck okay and then yes there are going to be occasions where you end up profiting huge and you end up making an extra bonus and there's going to be those circumstances but you need to sell 10 cars while making a decent amount of profit in order to get that one where you're like wow i just made like four g's today that's beautiful so okay it's as simple as that it'll come it'll happen but you got to sell a lot of cars it's the way that it works that's it that is how to sell your first car as a car salesperson okay basically you want to learn as much as you can spend your first couple of weeks just learning you're not going to make a dime you just learn as much as you can you're not going to sell a car i should say you might get paid but you're not going to sell a single car Try and learn as much as you possibly can. Bring it all together. Every customer that walks in, sell, 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 sell. Give them what they need. Convince them that this car is going to be what they need because you've learned how to figure out what they actually need. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.